back. Today I'm taking a look at the new Mac Mini compatibilities and the use of the internet and some of the other programs loaded with um, the new Mac Mini. Uh, this is the 2.26 gigahertz Intel, du Intel Duo 2 processor. Um, this model actually has the 2 gigahertz, uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM and the 160 gigabyte hard drive. So this is the opening screen and you know I'm personally I am a PC user for most of my life <laughs> up until now and I just got this Mac and I wanted to do a review of the operating system and how it looks and some functions so I'm not an expert I've only had this computer for a week um, but I was given uh, some questions that I want to answer and so I'm just gonna run through it and we will take a look alright first thing I want to show you is this is the back uh, background for the, the new Mac Mini and just right click on it and you can change the background let me zoom in for you. Yes, I know my setup is kind of ghetto, but this is the best I got right now. All right. So this is the list of pre-generated backdrops. And I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but basically get you out here this is personally my favorite and that's the one I'm actually gonna keep up here but there's some other ones I've noticed that the Mac this Mac the backgrounds are I think a lot better than the ones you get on like Vista that's that's what I have on my PC so you get the idea of that it's really really easy if anyone can uh, do that so there you go you get a new background that's simple you probably knew how to do that alright so it comes down here, uh, Finder, it's just a program where you can, you know, basically, you know, find anything that is on the computer. Let's see if I can get it. Any desktop, documents, downloads, library, public, pictures, music, movies, and sites. So that's like websites first thing I want to do is test out the internet so you can see someone asked me is the internet faster on the Mac or the PC and well, we'll take a look and that came up pretty fast I'm on high speed up top this is the Apple website Yahoo Google Maps YouTube Wikipedia. I mean they all came up pretty quick. Um, so that's pretty good. Now let me show you how to pull up more than one tab so if you want to open more than one website at a time. You go up here. You want to go up to file and go to new tab. And it'll bring you to this page right here where you can preset all these random uh, websites and just click on them and you can have all your favorite websites all in one spot so you know that's really helpful this is something that Safari has which is Apple's main website or web browser so this is uh, something new but it's nice you got the Apple website there, Yahoo, Facebook, YouTube, Cubs, 
ESPN, Facebook, Gmail, uh, my school, UCF. Um, so you can preset anything right there. But I'll just click on one. I'll just click on Yahoo. So you see that pops up. Now you have Yahoo there and Wikipedia there. So that's how you can do that. And I'll just randomly type something in and see how quick it goes. See, I mean, it's pretty quick. I think I, I use this computer for my internet because it is really fast. And I'll just close that. Next, we have an address book down here. I don't have anything in it. But there you go. And we have a calendar. I don't use that, but that's something else there. Skip a couple of these. iTunes, you know what iTunes is. I don't even know if I've loaded up iTunes on this. So there you go. And then it has Photo Booth, which is a webcam. This does not come with a webcam, but I'm sure you can buy a webcam and you can use that program. iPhoto. This is just uh, basically where it keeps all your photos at. You know, just like that. It's very basic here iMovie, this is a program that it comes with that you can edit movies with. Um, you basically just move your cursor and the video will move. I don't want to stay on this program for too long because you pretty much get, I don't, you know, we can do a whole nother review on iMovie. But it, that's just a can look at it and GarageBand this is another big reason why I bought this I wanted to create you know songs for movies or little stuff that I want to put on YouTube and this is nice because you can just make loops and whatever and uh, I'm not a pro at this at all but you know it's something to work with and up top I'm just brief because this is probably something everyone will want to mess around with. New project. You can work with the piano, guitar, voice loops. That's what I mainly do. Podcasts, songwriting, acoustic, keyboard, and a movie. Learn to play, which is also really cool. You can take lessons. These are free ones but you can pay for more to learn how to play guitar or piano. That's really awesome. This is the store to buy them. But anyways, you get the point. I will pull up one thing I made just real quick. Just to test it out. So you can see what it looks like. That's what the program looks like when you open it up. And there's something I made. There you go. And that wasn't even that great. But that was just something I made. Took a little bit of time, but not too much, you know. And that's pretty much what I want to do for this review. Um, there's a lot of other things I want to show you, but, you know, I don't know exactly what to do and what anyone particularly wants to see. But here's a lot of the applications that comes with it, but they're not on the down bar or the dashboard that you can add. Well, thanks for watching my review of the Mac Mini and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if there's anything you want to know about the Mac that I did not show you, or if there's any programs on here that you want to see more of reviewed, and I will work on it. So thank you very much, and have a good night.